Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In this video, we're gonna talk about a product that I actually don't have my hands on. Several articles came out and you guys flooded my inbox, my email, text message about this cool new product that's supposed to be state-of-the-art for bleeding control. So this new product is called Trauma Gel. It's a syringe that's supposed to be a gel that comes out to control major bleeding. Sounds promising, but we'll see. But we know that there are several hemostatic agents on the market already and we'll kind of talk about those real quick so we have Celox rapid and then combat gauze this is a gauze that we have to wound pack and put pressure on in order to get the bleeding control now control of major bleeding is all about pressure you got to put pressure on it the hemostatic agent just is to help facilitate that clotting process a little quicker a little faster but typically bleeding control is all about direct pressure and a lot of it if you are looking to purchase hemostatic agents like combat galls and sealocks or other medical trauma supplies, then go over to medicalgearoutfitters.com. So trauma gel is going to come in a syringe. It's going to look somewhat similar to this. Now this is Celox that we connect here and we're going to kind of push down into the wound for a gunshot wound maybe that we can't wound pack, can't get a gauze down in there. But so trauma gel is going to come out in a syringe that looks like this. This is not the first product to come out in a syringe. Celox is in a syringe. There's also a product called Xstat, which is a syringe like this, but has little pellets in it that when they're exposed to the blood, expand out to help us give that pressure that we need to control major bleeding. Trauma gel is going to be a gel. It's a plant-based material. Not sure what kind of plants are in it, uh, but it's kind of a gel. And they're saying it kind of oozes and kind of goes into the wound to help with bleeding control. Currently, the FDA has given this clearance for external use only. So we'll kind of see how that progresses into bleeding control for stab wounds, gunshot wounds, and major bleeding, things like that. The company is saying this is going to be available for the military and EMS departments as well. So I'm hoping that they will release this so the civilian market can put this in their IFACs as well. So trauma gel has been FDA cleared, not approved, a little bit of difference there. And there again, TCCC committee, as far as I know, hasn't posted anything. I'm sure they're looking at it, but they're going to want da data and research before they make their recommendation on this as well. So I hope this video helps. Hopefully, when the product actually re is released, uh, I can get my hands on it and we can kind of show you guys a little demonstration on it. But right now, I'm just having to use pictures and words. So hopefully, this video helps a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.